this is on why Rand Ingersoll is better than the rest of these assholes. Now granted, the damage has already been done. But, unlike Shannon Alvarado, um, Rand Ingersoll admits that she did fucked up shit because she was drunk. Unlike Shannon Alvarado, Rand Ingersoll admits and understands how that affected others. See, that's the thing about dealing with addicts. Most of them aren't honest. Most of them blame the fucked up things that they do to others on others. Like somehow magically they didn't do anything wrong. Like somehow their abuse isn't abuse, but it is. I acknowledge that when I'm being abusive, it is abusive. But I'm abusive for the right reasons. I shouldn't have to be. I used to save lives for shit's sake. If there are two people talking at the same time, I can't hear either one of them. I can't. If I have to focus on something and you're watching a show about killing, yeah, I, I can't focus on what I need to. That's not a choice. Drugs don't fix this. No amount of pharmaceutical medications is going to change this. You need to stop trying to shove drugs into me, you fucking idiots. No amount of therapy is going to change this. You know, a lot of people that I helped out, I helped them out how they asked. How they asked. Do you know why? Because they understood their situation better than me. At least Rihanna admits that she did wrong. She also admits that the cops are pretty fucked up. And what they did was wrong. Without somebody actually in my corner. I've been through three years of hell. People giving me empty promises, empty promises, empty promises. And I'm not allowed to be angry. I'm not allowed to be pissed off when they don't keep their word. They're allowed to be pissed off. They're allowed to be angry, but I'm not. The rules are different for me than they are for you. When it happens to you, you want people to care. There's a lot of women on my Facebook. And I noticed that uh, a lot of them have the same Emotions that I do when they're by themselves. But then they get a boyfriend and they start knocking everybody. Treating them like shit. Typing stuff like, oh, I can't handle all your negativity. Bitch, 
The only reason you're not negative is because you have somebody in your life. And when the honeymoon is over, you're going to be right back on Facebook complaining about them. About how terrible they are, about how horrible they are. And then you'll probably get back together with them. And break up and get back together and break up and get back together. When you first break up, you guys, you all have the same patterns. You break up with someone and you talk about how you don't need a man. You can do it all by yourself. That lasts about a week. If that, then you hit the depression and the loneliness and you realize things are a lot fucking tougher by yourself. And then you complain about being alone. And then you either go back to the asshole that you were with and treat your friends like shit. Or you find somebody different and you treat your friends like shit. I hate Facebook. I want to see my friends in real life without being abused. I want to be able to see them when I'm not completely stressed the fuck out with all the bullshit that I have to fucking go through. I'd love to go hang out with my homie and sit down and smoke a fat bowl of marijuanas. Talk some shit, play some cards. The problem is that I need a positive environment that includes the people. Shannon Alvarado is not positive. She's a screamer. I saved my screaming for the internet. And a lot of people who wanted to ignore me or treat me like shit, they want to say, oh, well, you know, the way you are on Facebook, fuck you, bitch. You're not here in real life. You don't give a fuck. You said that you would call and listen, and you fucking didn't keep your word, you little bitch. You want to be a fucking piece of shit? Meanwhile, you get to see your loved ones. You don't have to worry about being fucking assaulted for going to see your brothers and sisters, for going to see your friends. And then we got these fucking idiots who want to say, oh, well, you know, you don't need a safe place. There is no safe place. You know, a burglar can break into your house and shoot you at any point in time. Yeah, but the likelihood isn't that great. Your chances of getting assaulted as a homeless person are far greater. When you're a homeless person, the police don't treat you the same as they do when you're in a house. They don't. They treat you far worse and they victimize you far more often because the public hates you. The media hates you. The police hate you and it doesn't matter what the fuck the laws say. You are not a human being and they're not going to follow the law because you're not a human being. And if you're not a human being, the law doesn't apply to you. Fuck this goddamn country. I hope the whole fucking thing burdens to the ground. There should be a place where good people can go and not be victimized by all of the assholes. But there isn't one. Alicia Bollinger deserves prison. A lot of people deserve prison. A lot of people committed a lot of really fucked up crimes. Miss Peaches didn't break any crimes, so far as I know. Not when it came to me, anyway. A lot of other people did. A lot of them. Fuck this goddamn country.